ladies and gentlemen boys and girls now today we are premiering something very 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 super special now the joyed podcast as we told you we are introducing new segments or new shows under the joyed and this will be the first male show it's gonna be called the den where i'm only gonna be hosting the guys i'm sorry ladies we're just gonna be hosting the guys and then we get to talk about different things from the men's perspective and i'm super super excited that the first episode is gonna be having cool people across this country people who've done some great stuff people who are doing some great stuff and based on today's topic which is uh love these are the love experts in nairobi Mommy. these are the guys who have the research and the data ladies and gentlemen Mommy. welcome to the den with ben psycho on the jared podcast please remember to subscribe hit the notification bell share this video the target this year is a hundred thousand by december my good people yeah yes, sir wow. karibuni sana 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 Sante. man you guys are looking drippy in case they're wondering yes, why yes. the den is because we are lions <laughs> <laughs> Bas, wake up to eat the kennel uh-huh. wake <laughs> up <laughs> 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 yes, karibuni sana my guys did you come out to like uh, we're gonna be in black all of us we're all in black yes. and then the guys on the couch are with a touch of pink uh, for the yeah. cute boys mm-hmm. yeah for the cute ah. boy ah. <laughs> 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 the cute boys are in pink, eh? Yeah? Yes. You Watch as the handsome nice. guys stay in black. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We don't talk much. You know, we don't okay. talk much. Okay. Chem much as you za. Chabukibaya kinafanya promotion, you know. Yeah, karibu ni sana, guys. Super, super excited, yeah, man. man. Maybe we can do some introductions. We can start from the farthest end. Mm. Coolest. Hey, mm-hmm. um, really happy to be here. Kwa majina naitwa... Mm. Kagwe Mungai. Correct. Ah, uh, aka Mufasa wa Mababi. Oh, hey. yo sasa. Uh, the den. Yes, you know we're here in the den. Uh-huh. Only right, only right. Yeah. yeah. And uh happy to be here, man. Oh, thanks nice. thanks for thanks for calling me to come through. Karibu sana, bro. Nice. Yes. Yes, sir. First of all, the ladies, hi. <laughs> Allah. My My name is Uh you know, poet, uh, content creator actor happy to be in the den mm-hmm. happy to share what i have in terms of what you're going to discuss and talk about yeah and yeah thank you man nice, nice one nice one Apasal. the one and only abel mutua grandpa the legend of the industry aka mubaba mtarajiwa <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> utambi utambi ah una kill utambi <laughs> bana uh, ilikuwa like two months ago oh no me kill ah nimeyua mbaya ndio stress <laughs> oh. ah, kuna mtu wako niongelesha poa ikabidi uh, ukabaki umekatwa <laughs> <laughs> ah i know no man but yeah but i'm glad to be here man. karibu sana my brother Asan sana man i think he, the den i think tumefanya mistake ngiko at least mse moja anaitwa daniel ah wow. Man, wow. oh, this, is, nice. this, wow. is this is where I exit. <laughs> this is where I exit. <laughs> but karibu ni sana guys. Uh, and just to uh, big up each and every one of you who's doing some great stuff. We have Kago Mungai who has an album by the way that's dropping the end of this month. Kago, tell us more about this album, man. We're just jamming to the song you did with uh Mayonde Blinky. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, bana mlikuwa mna sambua sana sana yo nini? Shout Tell us squad. about the album, man. <laughs> Shout out, squad. Uh, that's that's definitely family. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is my second album, and this year is my tenth year in the music industry and entertainment, mm. which is, I think, something that I wanted to celebrate. Yeah. And there's a lot of learning, a lot of understanding that I mm. have now, like coming from those days, even like seven years ago, and we're doing like those kamakawa type things. Yeah. Um, and so the album is called Rada, you mm-hmm. know, because just. Kurada, mm-hmm. you know, Ka lot. yeah, everything yeah. that it comes with, all the different connotations that it means, mm. yeah. um, all of it, and so it's also the first, <clears throat> the first Kenyan album mm. that predominantly uses Kenyan samples. Okay, right? mm. so we've sampled Harry Kimani, Eish. we've sampled Kidi Gidi, Eish. we've sampled Nameless, we've sampled Isa. I had the one with Nameless. Yeah. I had that sample. Yeah. That was East dope. African oh, girls, nice. mm. um, and it's been it's been an incredible process to kind of just like take music that inspired me yeah. and flip it and make it into something new mm. you know nice. i i have i've had a lot of experiences in my house i have like posters of different artists <coughs> a big one of isa mm. and back in the day when i was single yeah. um i would have like maybe a kashori come through mm. and she's like oh who is this guy and i'm mm. like you don't know who isa <laughs> is oh yeah. lord yeah so <laughs> the a lot of gen z it still misses them you know yeah. and that for me is my way to kind of also mm. ensure that that lives on correct mm. for another i don't know 20 years yeah yeah nice so, one sample gidi gidi yeah which one? Unbogable. Unbogable. Hey, Unbogable. Oh. Yeah. That song was a mega hit, eh? 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was State so far, big. Crazy. It was used for uh, elections. Two, yeah. two, mm-hmm. two, right? Two, two, mm-hmm. Correct. And Borgabo. And Borgabo. Yeah. Shout out to the legends, yeah. man. <laughs> and for those who don't know, Kago is also a producer. I'm saying my pesa in a baki in house. Kuna pesa na lipa uko inje. You pay yourself as an artist and you you cater for production. Super. So all the best, man, and Thank congratulations. You, Appreciate it. Mind mind himself. Yes, sir. Mm. The baddest poet. Yes. Do we do we do a close up of, of your do, 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 do. Chop a close up mm-hmm. up in Yeah. Chop your close up. mind mind. You, you, yeah. yes, you. Like a light flan. Yeah, can I hang up on Yes, you. Let me I'm talking to you. I'm talking yeah. to you. You matter. Yeah. You matter a lot. <laughs> yes. Sasa video ka hizo nikiona kwa TL tu una feature una feature wife asizione una zi una zi block. Nzema watu na mahani kwa comments hey, like Mbaya. thank you you've made my day. Hey, Speaking of which these mm. days uh, tuna four gentlemen squeeze tuko na 10 the live shows. Mm. Oh. Watu wana drag you. Oh, no, mm. oh, watu wana yes. wana yeah. Yeah. Oh my jamaa wameanza kukaa man. Wana vitu wana mademo. Previously it was something oh um, msini simp sana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Oh my girl likes you so. Yeah. It's 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 interesting it's the same thing like mademo ki when 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 ladies love something they always drag their husbands to do it. Yes. So oh, sometimes yes. it's normally ladies. just easier to target the lady even with yeah. music, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, artists that tend to sing more towards the the ladies yeah. tend to yeah. get more fans because also men will go where the ladies are, well, you know. Are loyal, right? But when you do just for the men, sometimes, you know, yeah. Yeah. the men will just uh, it, sometimes it's hard for the men to convince the ladies to come, but yeah. it's easier for the ladies to convince yeah. them to come. Yeah. Yeah. Very Good true. stuff. So yeah. Mm. So tunachapa mambo ya love. Mm. And speaking of which, um, we have a ka dating show coming up. Oh, uh, oh. called a date with minor mind. Allah. Yes. So, oh, akina dada. It's more about in the spirit of love and understanding love, yeah. Yeah. just knowing um, the different facets because we're young and mm. we're trying to understand and no one gives us a handbook. Yeah. You know, my dad will not sit me down and tell me sasa kiona kashori. Yeah. This is what you do. So Impossible. the the whole aim of this uh, show which is coming up is sitting down with people who have been through various love experiences. Yeah. Yeah. It's breaking up and everything. So mm. yeah, keep tuned. Nice one. Nice yeah, one. Make sure you follow my mind on IG. Yeah, it's baffling that like yeah. mama kwa single mimi yaka yake yote. But did you get someone? Are you single yes. minor? Yeah, yes I. Did. You did ask what date? Zi. Ai 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 ai. What up to? Eh, finally kuna vile. Eh, finally Mungu anaponya. Eh, eh, <laughs> what? You know, we are trying to explore and find out how do we Yeah, so you have suffered in hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a romantic but nice one, nice one. Yeah. Oh, no. The belly himself. Hey, my man. You've been doing a lot though. Oh yeah, yeah, and a lot's coming by the way. Yeah. Um actually I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to mention this but uh we're currently working on uh on a, sh- a, a TV series. Yeah. For show max Ooh. it's going to be fire Ooh. yeah fire so yeah. we're still in the pre-prod stages mm-hmm. hopefully by mm. january will be on air nice eh, so ile mali tutaumia tu this year kidogo ni movie ni movie yeah movie ah, itaweza yeah ah, kidogo ime click bang bang man i know i know Weza. but uh, next year feb for sure yeah yeah nice Our one nice one next year in february mm. click click bang did amazing things it did yeah Loved we won uh, the mvcs last week but one Ooh. oh wait you show in a air lini <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah towards the end of uh, may there yeah yeah it was it was amazing man but the deposit for you show max must be uh, have been a lot man because i even saw you switched cars you all of a sudden chief you don't want, you don't want low cars like, hey, <laughs> hey man you need to be a bit safer Bra! and you don't want to go to Toyota like the brother Timothy <laughs> you're like Toyota is not Toyota is safe you know you're a brand you need to be protected eh? the team is strong hey, ah, man, you know, nah. hey. so I think I you see. guys are in problems because you're deep or you're in gear so I think you're in gear ah I'm tati how's the cruise on the disco oh man best thing ever man. me I don't know whether why I seek one of your in sight at mm. all in my 15 years of driving yeah Hey, but the disco is just on another level but na pale una operate on air suspension it's air suspension it's air suspension how ski bumps una ski auto complete portal look like portal gun gone hey. eh it's hey. got uh, three stages of height pale una adjust uh-huh. ukitaka mama ingie na hey. si unaweka hey. hey. unataka pate muscle pull hey. sio ki stretch maze <laughs> unagonga access height hapo ina hey. shuka hey. tu hey. all the time hey. bra hey. Ah man, <laughs> mutachoka na mimi mimi wote niwaambie. And you you're just getting started. Oh yeah. Lao lazima tuende yeah, yeah, yeah. We must goal, just drive that car. Goal ni GA. Yeah, yeah, that was a huge drive from jump from Mercedes to Land Rover like yeah, that man. was the, the, German the best, British. It was a very good car by the mm-hmm. way. But now 
it being a, a sedan first of all it was the AMG trim yeah the AMG trim is very sport. harsh the suspension is, is very is stiff stiff mm. yeah and i was uh, rolling on um, what do you call them low profiles yeah mm. low profiles so, so you feel gap. everything Chapa poto. Eh, stiff suspension, low profile, so mm. you feel it hapa. Mm. <laughs> when you're going yeah. over bumps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Turn the whole car. Yeah. to maneuver yeah. stuff and what not. Come on, so BMW. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> BMW on a sum. I know. Sana for bumps. But on the tarmac, ah, it's like over. Get to highway. It's over. Ah, that's it. it. Yeah, the Benzo is something else. <laughs> nice one, my guys. Yeah. Karibuni sana. Karibuni. So you guys know the drill. Uh, let me just uh, bring you up to speed. You just pick a question. Mm. You ask it. Mm. Then all of us will answer. Feel free by the way feel comfortable nice. share from your experience let's have some good time all right. right so who do we start right. with we start, we start with the guests today let's start with kago and then we go to minor mm. mm. let me even help you with this all, all right. right right one one yeah. let's go money pick a box money or the box the box alafu unakumbuka hiyo show msema anachukua mwiko jo umeacha datsan 120 unatoka na mwiko yako hapo sasa Ah, so. Nice one guys. All right. Oh, I picked two. Oh. Is that okay. Shade. Just, uh, yeah. I can take yeah. Nice. Perfect. Let's go. Are we supposed to look at them? No, 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 we can't look at them. Oh, oh only can go. All oh, right. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. So may, may I don't answer I ask you guys this question. Yeah, you, you but but you'll also answer. Okay. Yeah. But I'll answer after you guys have yeah, answered. Yeah, okay. you choose, okay. choose okay. how you want to put one. Okay. So. All right. Mm. Can multiple paragraph. questions. Hey, Bana, that's it's it's long. I was also so concerned. Like one, eh? <laughs> so it's uh, I think it's multiple choice. Okay. Oh, okay from okay. the way I'm understanding it. Oh, okay. Mm. So uh, in relation to you to your love experiences, mm. discuss the myths below. Discuss whether the myth is true in your experience. Mm. If not, then why? Mm-hmm. So myth number one. Yeah. Men are not as romantic as women. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's on a high. Yes, well, go on, go on. Okay. So. Myth number 2. Mm. Men are only interested in physical attraction or men are solely driven by sexual desire. Go on. Mm-hmm. Number 3. Men are commitment phobic. Mhm. Mm. Where? Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh-huh. So <laughs> the next one, men are not as affected by rejection. Hey, what do you hey, mean? Hey, yo. Are you see are you hearing the trauma? <laughs> you hearing the trauma in the room. Hey, huh? Barack, man, you started on a high, but hey, that's, that's intense. So, so the question was So there's three I don't know if I go through the other three. Okay, mm-hmm. just go. So it's we're basically going to discuss the myths okay. and if we think that they're true and if they are, mm. why and if not, why? Okay. Yeah. Right? Okay. So Sorry. men are less affected by breakups and heartbreak. Mm-hmm. And then men are always the pursuers in relationships. Yeah. Men are less interested in emotion, emotional intimacy. Okay, so we start. Mm-hmm. So from the beginning, so men. The, the question was, in relation to your love experiences, mm-hmm. discuss whether the myth is true in your experience. Mm-hmm. If yeah. not, why? Okay. okay. Men are not as romantic as women. <laughs> men are not <laughs> as romantic as women. <laughs> I, I know I, I said I would wait for you guys to answer <laughs> but this is strong and Yeah, bad. please no, start, start. No, 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 no. I feel like romance is for me in my dating experience, right? Mm. And even just the way that we think about like courting, right? Yeah. yeah. It's largely on the responsibility for the guy, right? You're the one who's going to go and talk to the baby, you're the mm-hmm. one who has to impress her, you're the one who has to convince her, you're the one who has to wake her box. Yeah, yeah. right. Traditionally, right? Yeah. And so that I think requires high levels of romance mm-hmm. in comparison. And right. that's romance, actually. Yeah. That's yeah, romance. That's yeah. mm-hmm. And even, I think, in maintaining a relationship, right? Yeah. Planning the dates, ensuring yeah. that you're doing interesting mm-hmm. things, yeah. keeping the relationship fresh. Yeah. That's interesting. So I don't disagree. I mean, I do disagree. You disagree I with disagree. that statement. Yeah. It's okay. interesting because even like when, when I joined high school, <coughs> I remember, <coughs> in our high school, you used to get more points or more credits as a man mm. if you could approach more women. Like if you yeah. can talk to girls. Yeah. Yeah. Like you yeah. can be a very yeah. weak it's guy true. in school. Eh? It's mm. true. But because your language is nice, like yeah. we, are, we are conditioned, you have to approach the girls. Nowadays, you come funky. But we, are, we, are, we are living in woke generation. I don't know, maybe nowadays high school girls also approach the guys. Oh. But mostly... Oh, to, that. But mostly oh, no, I just wanted to say uh, the opposite was also true mm-hmm. like uh, you were frowned upon oh. ukienda gig na urudi mkono tu eh hey, ma jori na suv jori na pure box <laughs> 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 uh, so that's true kagwe i think uh, and i think that's a is that romance though no? uh, actually that's what i'm trying to is that romance 
Because people define romance yeah. as you know you can be able to buy flowers you can be like minor 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 looks yeah, like yeah, he's very self aware yeah, in that department yeah. he buys yeah. flowers yeah. 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 automatically buys chocolate yeah in my experience I'd say I'm romantic when it comes to the approaching yeah. mm-hmm. But sometimes in the relationship, it I tend to... Yeah, <laughs> una, 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 una. It don't yeah so, yeah, especially when things are good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. stress. And I think that's, yeah. that's like the problem with most men. By the way, in our generation, mm. girls these days, yeah. our turn, you are deadly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are they are deadly. Pursuers. Mm-hmm. Personal experience, yeah. pursuers deadly. Mm-hmm. And they'll tell you what they want. Yeah, yeah like um, in high please. school. Mm-hmm. Raja, compared to uh, you legends, high school days. Oh, oh, what do you mean? You know, Abel was not even on our 844 system. He was in class 7. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Bra! I left on the powers of the guy. I'm happy too. I'm happy too. I'm happy too. Hey! Eight for four. I'm happy too. But yeah, in high school, it, it was crazy. We used to have a list. Yeah, I remember yeah. I used to have a list mm. uh, because it was super interesting. Yeah. I just come from Nevasha Boys Boarding mm. to Aga Khan High School. Mm-hmm. Mixed, mm-hmm. international, yeah. mm-hmm. day school. The girls there. Mm-hmm are like nothing you've ever seen. Yeah, Naivasha. Mm. Naivasha, it was culture shock. Yeah. Nafika Aga Khan High School and I'm seeing the ladies wearing pants and mm-hmm. immediately I know mm. I'm in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to have a list. Yeah. Literal list mm. of girls. And then we used to have 844 side, IGCSE side. Mm. So I had a list. Pale. Every day I'm ticking it. Mm. The first time I made a girl smile, mm. I knew mm. I'm, I'm done. Mm. I'm, a I'm a legend. I used to think females don't have feelings because of Abu being in a boys' school from class four to class eight, yeah. it can do things to you. Uh, yeah. So here I used to have a list. And I think that's the thing with men. Because mm. um, looking at it, I feel like innately, mm. we know, a lady would know when we love them. Mm-hmm. Like we know how to make a lady feel yeah. that we are pursuing them. Yeah, It's subtle. Yeah. The job is just to surprise her yeah. with how you do it. But she already knows. Mm. Which now uh, is sort of feeding into your problem. That's it. Yeah. Uh, You've conquered. Yeah. The, the, the main, the yeah. main You're job in Canada. is done. Yeah. I am wanted now. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, I feel like uh, men are uh, romantic. Mm. Uh, it's debatable with the context of our age mm. and back then. Mm. I feel like um, into our forefathers' days, yeah. as a man, this is your child. Mm. My dad telling me your wife is your child. Mm. So treat her as such. Yeah. She should never feel like she has to do anything. Yeah. Okay. Whatever she's doing is wow. out of like uh, what she wants. Okay. But you have everything handled. Mm. So again, romance is relative depending on how okay. you define it. Yeah. But I feel like we are. Abel, do you agree with that statement? Do Actually, yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Men, man. Are to, uh, men just like you said, man, uh, during the pursuit, mm-hmm. uh, we'll mm. do everything for this. Recruitment. Bana after Tushaka I don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, want to rule the empire. Yeah, man, uh, uh, but the thing about women, they were romantic if you them them they they know how to stretch it. Like, mm. unakumbukata when we sat down uh, yeah. during your podcast, Judy Alisema. Yeah. Oh, mtu bana mindi onapangaga de tzote. Yeah. They don't yeah. get yeah. tired. Like, yeah. 15 years in, yeah. she still has it. Hey, mimi maze, mm. I don't know what happens. Yeah. I guess vitu zoo comes na kwa tu nyingi. And you love her still. Oh, yeah. You it doesn't mean that I love her any less. Yeah. Bado na mpenda deadly. Mm-hmm. But maze, iyo tu... Kujitu maya leo baby twende twende mm. wapi leo mm-hmm. hey, hey. <laughs> nakumbuka na after 4 months mm. guy by that tujafanya kitu <laughs> yeah, uh, let's do it yeah, yeah, yeah. so let me ask you Kagwe mm-hmm. um, are you because when you when you when you were talking you said that even after you get the relationship you you, you also come up with two dates and all that stuff for example on a personal level are you the person the kind of person to now initiate even uh with your girl because now you're dating now yeah i'm sorry sorry to all the ladies like application <laughs> even though to me no, the ne- to shy, like, yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's, it's over. 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 <laughs> Sorry. It's over. Do you are you proactive in your relationship? Like, are you the one? Do you initiate it sometimes? It's. I think there's definitely a better, a good balance mm. for sure. This is probably one of the first relationships where I felt like my babe is also romantic. You know, mm. she wants to plan things. She wants to do things. You know, mm. like um, attention to detail. Like understanding that okay. Like for example, mm. I was you know those two dates that you see on TikTok where you have to choose yeah. three, you yeah, don't see what you're things. choosing. Mm. Yeah. 
ah, I was taken on a bongela date. Hey. Bongela date. Bongela date. <laughs> you know, but viewers. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's I also feel just I think maybe mm. just of based off of the way that like I see the world yeah. is that I think it's the job of the man to 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 keep the romance fresh, mm. you know, like the same way that she felt wanted when that pursuit was happening. Yeah. You know, I think it needs to happen long term. Me I'm saying this and it's like 6 months. I don't know about I don't know how it works 15 years, 15 years you know. Yeah. I don't know how it works yeah. there, yeah. but yeah. I I definitely feel like it's something that I would want to try and like continue maintain. Yeah. 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 Okay, interesting. So uh, why do you think why, why do you think Yo, oh, there's a myth. There was yeah. another myth. Oh, the, the next one. Yeah. The next okay. One. So, yeah. men are only interested in physical attraction mm. or solely driven by sexual desire. Like that's one statement. That's a myth. That's a myth. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Only interested in physical attraction yeah. or solely driven by sexual desire. Yeah, physical myth. attraction I, uh, is strong yes yeah. i mean you can easily you can always especially your type because mm-hmm. everybody has a type yeah. yeah and whenever you f- you meet your type you can feel like okay there is mm. a lot of tension here yeah. but Nini, not necessarily that it's not the it's not the only thing let me just say i think context is key because uh as a young person mm. uh, who is not committed 15 years in, <laughs> yeah. i know like innately as a guy mm. if i look at a lady i'd know mm when it's purely mm. just sexual and physical mm. and that know when it's like love like this is someone i want to spend the rest mm. of my life with mm. so i feel like as men mm. um it's just about differentiating that first of all physical attraction is like a green light like for every guy mm. most likely they are visual so obviously at and then it will trigger yeah. some movement towards you mm. Mm. but I'm, i'm maybe it's me but i can always tell like who are you mm. Mm. you kuna kitu long term but to you yeah so yeah. so it's, it's is it a myth or is it a fact so i feel like uh, it's 50/50 both it's 50/50 mm-hmm. yeah i think okay. it's a myth mm-hmm. and this is something it's an experiment that's that's been done okay um you think mm. actually most men think that's what they want me na taka do dem tu na za nga piganga tu yani stuck it to you and me to keep it on on chop up us na like yeah then you get a chick <laughs> who gives you just that yeah and you discover two weeks later yeah it's empty it's empty mm-hmm. it's very empty uh, mm-hmm. actually i read um, someone's thread on twitter mm. and he was excited the first time he met this mumama mm. and she was like me don't call me stakizo mabitu za o strings are stacky me ukiona simu yangu toa nguo yeah that's the only thing i want the guy was like we have gold yani ndio hiyo the dream mm. chief a week later he was like i can't do this mm. yeah I, i can't mm. i feel empty like hakuna kitu kingine mm-hmm. it's just that Ah, what I can you yeah. yeah so most men think that's what they want yeah but that's that's not it so, so it's, it's a myth. more of like a lack of awareness mm. Mm. It's, mm. You, you know, yeah you, you've never been there so right. you want to try it. you mm. think the grass is greener on that side yeah. right. until you're there and, and you then you're like this is too empty eh. wow so it's me, like the desire for the forbidden fruit exactly. so you just want it because yeah, mm, yeah. it looks dangerous eh, and then after you get it you're like okay mm. And also, really like, also yeah. I think media glorifies it you oh, know yes. like the things that we've grown up oh, yeah. listening to mm-hmm. I like girls girls yeah. Yeah. girls, yeah. girls yeah. Yeah. you know I got hope yeah, like, you know it's like yeah. it's, yeah, it's yeah. been ingrained to us from like early early on of just like the more babes you have the yeah. more like easily you can just like keep switching them yeah. the better your life will be oh, yeah. right? oh, no. which that's is true that's true because it's interesting truth. we always want to desire what the celebrities or what's being glorified but we most of the people who have it yeah. end up living very miserable mm-hmm. lives that yeah. you don't ever want to be exactly. a part of yeah. interesting what's the other myth mm-hmm. the next myth men are commitment phobic <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a myth. Yeah. If a man wants to commit, he'll commit. Yeah. If I want to commit, I in fact this means from from the moment I know this is what I want, this mm-hmm. is what I start committing very fast because yeah. you know, Let's you know you're not the only one in the yeah. race, so yeah. you have to close the deal very exactly. fast, make it exclusive. I feel yeah. like guys always know from the beginning. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Of yeah. course. From the onset that this is the person I want. I yeah. Be. Yeah, so uh, they won't uh, he mm. when does he does he want to I feel like guys guys know from the onset. Yeah. So if, he, if she's 
already asking that question then the guy so not... then yeah then maybe it's a man that's tricky but yeah. i feel like you would always know yeah maybe too many uh, resources mm-hmm. gives in a course at the mm-hmm. moment so for you to make to to hold that person knowing that you may not be able to afford to sustain yeah you know because men have that as well yeah but i feel like um yeah you always know okay i believe you agree so, yeah i totally okay. agree man okay. also when when men love something they commit to it yeah. 150% that thousand so if yeah. you're questioning your man's yeah. commitment then that means that uh, you already that 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 foot. but yeah. let me ask you <laughs> yes, what what about guys who and i think it's even one of the, the other scenarios right yeah. when you now have like rejection yeah. right or you've had past experiences where like that guy who was saying that you know he found this babe that was just for uh, you know calling for and then swagging. yeah <laughs> and then you start to you know you maybe think that you have something good yeah. but because of your past experiences mm, you yeah. you then find Trauma. yourself like Trauma. Ah, i don't that's know if i can fuck. commit here you know that's a fact that's and true. like even as you're saying in terms yeah. of like the money yeah. you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. guys like Yeah. There's no romance like, like finance. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You're bringing her into poverty. Yeah. 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 You don't so, want to continue yeah. this yeah. Yeah. lineage. Exactly. Yeah. So why am I going to commit? Yeah. 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 And this thing could turn upside yeah. down yeah. in like a yeah. minute and then my entire world is mm-hmm. like completely dissipated. Actually, that's, that's true and maybe we're going to talk about rejection mm-hmm. uh, yeah. later on. Yeah. yeah. And, mm-hmm. and it's the next one. It's the next one. Mm-hmm. What's the oh, question? Oh, nice. The next one is uh, men are not as affected by rejection. Men are men are super affected Chief. by rejection like for example the chicks that i uh, that i hit on and then one get cut out man that used to make me question myself man are you mm. are you are you just ugly are you just mm-hmm. poor or uh, you have a problem <laughs> and then for example maybe they go for some guys who because you know now when you come past high school is the guys who are a bit well off guys who come with who come to school with cars you know yeah. mm. uh, so you tend to always believe that you are always lower than yeah, those guys yeah. so you'll always put those guys higher because of that rejection and i think i believe rejection in men is 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 deeper than we might even think because even yeah, look at true. look at some of the the toxicity that we see online yeah. mostly it emanates from a guy who was uh, uh, heartbroken vividly yeah. and then una kuwa taliban sasa yeah oh men are highly affect I'd say, yeah. more than, i'd say more than women yeah because yeah. you can imagine this is someone who's wired naturally he knows no one will approach him in like 99% mm. of the time yeah. Yeah. he's wired to approach mm-hmm. okay. so i think it's a matter of men um, most men have gotten good at being rejected because yeah. it's happened so many times yeah. but yeah they it, and i think it's in twofold it mm. affects you either negatively because the last time i was rejected mm. i think i stayed for like for another four years without ever looking what and, yeah, yeah like just a clean four years mm. working on myself yeah. and obviously that hey. was because self aware <laughs> self aware <laughs> level nili kwa kijana nili ambiwa i think you you love me too much hey ah hey. yeah hmm. what that's where yeah. man become like, taliban it was a date yeah. an anniversary date yeah. to make up so i'm yeah. asking so how is this you know yeah. <laughs> record, how is this how is it, yeah. how is it? Yeah. like it's only been two months how is it yeah. <laughs> i think you love me too much and i was yeah so oh, yeah, yeah. so then and then i think in my mind it just hit mm. there's something Uh, for me it was like the love is still with me at least i know that yeah so i can give it to someone else but before i do that i need mm. to like figure mm. out myself wow. so it's in twofold it's mm. either ikumizi ile mbaya especially when mm. you may invest i'm glad that was like a really short relationship mm. yeah but yeah it it affects us for sure oh, oh crazy okay. like Have you been I rejected by the way Kagwa? Yeah, have you? Oh wow. You it's know, tough for everyone. Hey, let me tell you. Economy it's <laughs> across <laughs> the board, yeah. <laughs> I tell you. Fear women. Yeah, yeah. Fear women. Fear women. But yeah. also also don't fear women. I think that was that was for me my early experience with like yeah. with babes. Yeah. I don't think that I I really knew how to talk to girls until yeah. I was maybe like 18 or 19, yeah. you know. Oh. And I remember going to uni and I met with like some guys that were also kind of like in a similar place and we'd go to parties and we're just like hanging out that like the three of us. Yeah. And I was like, guys, what are we doing here? We keep on talking about, oh, we go for this bash, we hollered babes, nini, we get numbers, whatever, yeah. whatever. But we don't do anything, right? right. Mm. So we just started doing a game. And we were like, look, the goal is to get at least 10 for numbers before we leave mm. this bash. Mm. If you hata, come take a shot. We hype you back <laughs> up and you go, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so we were essentially training ourselves to not fear rejection. Mm is that if you have if it happens to you enough times mm. then it's not so scary because yeah. what's the worst thing that will happen she'll say no and then life yeah. goes on yeah that's it you haven't been mm. right. it's not you she doesn't know you in that way yeah. Yeah. you know and if it is you yeah. then fine you're not compatible yeah. right it stops being personal yeah but i think to this point 
And I think maybe what the underlying thing that I'm seeing from this is one thing I believe is men are definitely more emotional. Mm. Women are sensitive. Mm. Right. Mm. So emotion comes out in pride. Right. Yeah. Emotion comes out in all of these different things. And yeah. women are sensitive, which is why babes can tell you. Or you can ask your babe, what's wrong? And she's like, nothing. nothing. Right. And how she's like, I don't know how he can't see this. Yeah. Right? yeah. How, could, how could he not see hey. at the time when he did this hey. or said this other yeah. thing mm. and yeah. how it's affecting me? They are sensitive yeah. in that way. Yeah. Yeah. As we're emotional. Mm. And I think a lot more emotional than women, yeah. if you ask me. Mm. Mm, it's true. True, true story. That's all. So men are always the pursuers in relationships. Most of the times. Yeah. In this day and age. Oh, no. tell us. In this day and age, no. The tides oh. are turning. Uh, the tides are turning. <laughs> I feel like... Um, what? Yeah, and I feel like it's a generational thing. Yeah. The men that are cropping up are not uh, as incentivized mm. to go after babes. Mm. So you'd find a lot of... Um, and I've had experience with older women especially. So what are they going after? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so, a good question. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just the whole. Um, it could be also because of the minor mind brand thing. Mm. But you'd find women who are like specifically. I've I've never found a man who speaks like you, mm. or just thinks like you. Yeah, I think that's all I'd want. And these are like women, you know, ten years older, oh, mm. wow. five years older, mm. who like really understand what they want. Mm. And uh, and it's happened even in gigs. Someone will come whisper something. And they're like, uh, you know, I can. You are not safe. You are not safe. <laughs> you're not safe. So you're just like, because uh, it's also like a culture shock. It's like yeah. the first time you start getting that attention, mm. you know. And I'm glad that I, I, I quickly realized it was just the brand that they were after. Yeah. yeah. The first time you start getting that attention is like, mm. yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. So I think in this day and age, yeah. no, it's flipping. What about what do you think about for you? You've been for you, because yeah. you've been famous for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How has it been for you, especially Madam approach? So, so I don't think I'm on the right benchmark mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. because of that particular fact. Yeah. yeah. But just thinking as a layman, okay, not as a layman, as a kawaida person who's mm. not famous, I, I think it's in us. We were created that way. We are the ones who should pursue. chase. Yeah. Hey, maze. I, I don't know. First of all, I think maybe it's just from, from the school of thought that I, I come from. Me, Demakini approach. That's a red flag for me. Mm. Yep. Hey, oh, yeah? hey man. Interesting. Maze. Hey, Joe, at the day, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, cheese. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. But, man, again, I acknowledge the fact that I am from a totally different generation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 You guys, late 20s, 30s, uko, mm-hmm. you're the easiest. Mm. We just come and talk to you, tell you the sweet, sweet things. Because, you know, guys don't usually get complimented mm. that yeah, often. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's yes. true. Suddenly, you're seeing the bot- the table is full of bottles. Ah. The babes have been bought for everything. Mm. And you think you're the one who is marking the babe. Mm. Oh. Right? But she's come to whisper nice, nice things. She's laughed. <laughs> Hey. She's done the hand thing, the physical touch, what, what, what. They make, they make you feel like you're that guy. Mm. You're that guy. So himself. Hey. it's just, it's not as overt. I think they are better at doing it like in a very intellectual way. Yeah. Like, but they're definitely pursuants. Okay. Wow. okay. So that's a, yeah. that's a myth as well. The one that. Yeah. I, yeah, it's a myth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. We have another one? Yeah, so, the last one. Men are less interested in emotional intimacy. No, uh, no, myth. that's not true, man. I feel, that's a myth. I myth. feel like that's, um, that's what a lot of men think. Exactly. Mm. And also, I feel like th- it's because also a lot of men we've not been taught to understand mostly our traumas. Mm. Because you see, also when a babe rejects you, yeah. In as much as you've missed out on a babe, she's also missed out on you. If yeah. you really know your value, yeah, mm. she's also missed out on you. Yeah, yeah, not everybody deserves you yeah. as well. You get yeah, so. Yeah. I feel like that's not a that's not mm. truth, and I think men need to be more emotionally aware of their traumas mm. and how to improve, mm. how to be a better man. True. You know, yeah. I feel like that's even just that's to like pro- process emotions and let them yes. feel them. I feel like men we are more solution oriented. 
so that makes us logical yeah know? so it's like uh, okay something is happening that this emotional mm. it's an emotional context and we are still thinking of how can we sort this and move this yeah, yeah. Mm. A, a, a babe most likely would want to just feel that emotion and mm. you to acknowledge yeah. that yeah. they are emotional but us snap yeah. okay what's the solution yeah what's the happening? answer for this yeah so i think that's what that's true. The, the, hence the myth yeah. Yeah. yeah so two parts mm. of this mm. question what do you think your first breakup mm. taught you about love mm. what do you think your last breakup mm. <laughs> taught you about love taught you about love mm. 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 I start with Muku. yes yeah, yeah but I've, I've only had one breakup wow in my oh. life i've been in two relationships after the coup <laughs> <laughs> guys it's been a pleasure man. <laughs> or, or was it on the third day when jesus rose <laughs> after independence <laughs> like <laughs> this is the british wow, you know, wow, she had to go wow. back we're done guy <laughs> i'm sorry I'm if i spit on my chest <laughs> you're cast <laughs> all of you <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm belay i have hey you know my feeling yeah, well, okay, yeah, right, so, yeah. so yeah my my ex yeah. the, uh, such a lovely lady man taught me one valuable lesson that people do grow apart because their interests change like there's no beef mm. but the person you are two years ago is not the person you are today mm. so because of that you and this particular person mm. do not relate anymore mm. and that's a lesson i learned mm. in 2019 15 2005 oh my god yeah, 2005, 2005. Was, it, was, it, was it a bad breakup No 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 actually I remember I went to college after two weeks I saw a text and she was very categorical and <laughs> she said uh, Abel after four years I think we are flogging a dead horse mm. this is not going anywhere but I'm wishing you all the very best Did you see it coming I I kind of felt it oh. yeah, yeah yeah you know you start chasing things man after high school and you find yourself in very different trajectories and then there's something that they require from you you can't provide at that particular point because you you're also busy chasing right yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah and it just becomes too much for them yeah okay yeah so that's that's a, a lesson i learned because that's the only breakup okay not the only but mm. one of the few breakups i've had of where there was really no beef yeah, yeah. that yeah. was their last breakup so, so technically that was and your the first and last first and last oh, oh yeah. wow yeah easy answer trend the parlor first the, the <laughs> last breakup what I, oh, what the, the question is what, 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 what do you think your mm. first breakup taught yeah. you about love what do you think your last breakup taught mm. you about love so my last breakup what taught me about love was um, you can't fix somebody because i think there was a period where i was dating somebody wanting to mm. fix and heal some of their wounds mm. and it it was a bit stressful man to so much pressure you know yeah. so i was just yeah. like you can't you, cannot, you can't fix yeah, somebody yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can't you just can't right they either have to do it themselves yeah. or they get help outside mm. but it can't be that you're dating somebody to fix them i mean kwanza nilikuwa jifanyanga fix and kwanza ngeri let's do na spana okay she dey kwa api hapa you know mm. want to bring mm. solutions yeah. you know so that's that's what my last breakup taught me my first mm. breakup what it taught me um the first one was just just a uh, punch within your leg when you come and somebody who was way way above my leg <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how, yeah. How, what, what does that mean what, I, what, what does that mean above your leg <laughs> like, like this chick cuz this we were talking about the first one yeah. Mm. Yeah. that at that point I'm still in high school she's like from a very well off um uh, family super light skinned gets all the attention so una joya ile kujichocha high school you go hit on her you hit it off didn't even last past three months bruv i was like i don't think this is going anywhere yeah. bernard you know that time he should have called you by the full name yeah yeah so that was that was hey that was harsh man okay. but i was still okay. a teen so whatever right. man <laughs> um i think my last breakup taught me i think similar to you is don't fall in love with potential yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. like it you Personally I like to see the good in people mm. right I like to see that I, th- I I believe that everybody has the capacity to have greatness in them yeah. in one way or another yeah. Yeah. whether you're going to be a cleaner you can be a great cleaner yeah. you know and do it and have a lot of pride in doing it and be able to do it in the best ways and even mm. just the way that you relate with somebody yeah, a great boyfriend a great girlfriend right mm. yeah mm. um and I think I had seen that like wow this 
relationship has the potential to be like one of those kinds of relationships, mm. right? But unless the other person wants that, right? Yeah. Then it's just me who is seeing potential, mm. right? So there's no action on that side of like trying to go to where I see that this thing can okay. go. It might not yeah. even be your goal, right? Yeah, yeah. But me, I've seen the potential of we can be like a thing together, a power couple, whatever, whatever. Yeah. We can be this thing and like, Mm. It's just not connecting. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. It does. It does. Yeah. And what's your first? Uh, the first one taught me long distance does not work. <laughs> <laughs> it, does not work. it does not work. It yeah. does not work. I mean, in cases where like there is a finishing line and there's time of like, okay, so within one year, yeah. we're going to convene in one place. Yeah. Right? Mm. But indefinite long distance, yeah. are we pen pals? Mm. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if I Would you do long distance? Long distance is crazy. Long distance is insane. Long distance is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, a long distance relationship. Oh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Quite sometimes, quite sometimes they can work. Quite bo, meguza. Oh, yeah, yeah. Many guza mahali. No, I'm, you know, and I'm the youngest here, so I'm. Hey. No, 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 no. Don't listen to us. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Just personal hey, hey. opinions. Oh, those that's, ones are just me. Hey, oh, all experiences. Too. That was oh, my oh, first you breakup. You have yours. Oh, me, me. Let me. Because uh, okay. I know um, people. I have a very, I have a close friend very mm. close friend mm. and right. they've been doing long distance and it's been working mm. perfectly they've not had issues actually right. mm. yeah mm. and this is a good friend we have uh, but they've ben, been great. Bernard, thanks for mm. that encouragement yeah <laughs> <laughs> i see what you're doing yeah. so do i answer this uh-huh yeah oh yeah so my last breakup taught me that uh to slow down mm. think as men we have a scarcity mindset sometimes mm. but a dim, you're like oh my goodness she loves me this is the one and then like mm. slow down mm-hmm. just chill don't take things too fast uh, don't have yeah, a scarcity yeah. mindset is that uh, the one who said that you loved her too much yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> i was also super overwhelming i was okay. like you know super yeah. overwhelming yeah. Yeah. yeah and then the first one just taught me that i'm too young too young in all aspects i was in high school what like mm. 15 yeah, okay. So just told me like I'm too young in terms of understanding mm-hmm. myself, in terms yeah. of even knowing what I want, in terms of even understanding what love is. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. interesting. Right. You know what you what you've said about loving you too much. Uh, yeah. It just reminded me of some the the chicks that had hit on and love on them one thousand percent. Wangeni talk and buy They used to reject me. Yeah. Right? And then the ones I just you know yeah. small small doses yeah. come running. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know, just mm-hmm. me. Chicks and bad boys. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's a whole topic on its own. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole topic on its own, eh? Mm. So, in your relationship experience, mm. what is one thing that you wish your partner understood about you that she just doesn't seem to get? So we repeat that again. Uh, okay. <laughs> in your relationship experience, mm-hmm. what is that one thing that you wish your partner understood about you? But she doesn't Just seem to get. Okay. Mm. What's the thing that my partner mm. needs to understand about mm. you? That she doesn't seem to get. Mm. Let's start with minor mind. Uh, I, I think, um, hmm. I would say it's probably she doesn't get it because uh, of the context. I mm. feel like, uh, first of all, the relationships have taught me a lot more about myself. Mm. And I think learning about myself is learning what every experience I've had growing up, how it has led me to become the person I am. Mm. So I think uh, sometimes, um, and this is with so much grace, like I wish, which is also not possible, that my partner would understand that sometimes the decisions I make or even how I deal with an argument Mm. or a, a sort of anything that I deal with is as a consequence of the person I have the experiences that I've been through that have made me who I am. So even it's me learning about those traumas. Mm. So you can imagine even it's super unfair to put someone in that position when they're like, okay, I understand it's because maybe this happened. And then I. So I, it's it's more of like, um, it's not something I'm disappointed about. Mm. I just think it would be super easy mm. if there was like, it would be easy for every partner in any relationship to just mm. have that first instance of grace. Mm. Like this guy genuinely loves me. Mm. It's probably an oversight with the way he's dealing with things because of, and um, every time, and I'm using this from examples of every time we have had like a conflict, yeah, which have been like the the bonding point of our relationship. Every time it's like we either end up breaking up or closer than ever. Mm. It's like you realize, wow, this this is genuinely. Every time it has taken us longer longer to get to that point where you realize, 
okay, I, I understand where you're coming from. Mm. I understand why you took this step and you made this decision. Yeah. So yeah, it's not something that I'm like, ah, super disappointed. It's more of like, uh, it would be so much easier. Yeah. If there was that grace extension of knowing, mm. uh, by the way, mm. upper high school, mm. primary, mm. Ah, crazy. so mm. in turn, he's grown up to be this type of person. Mm. And that's how he deals with sensitive situations like that mm-hmm. okay. i don't know so if that you, you the want question. them to be to be cognizant of your background and baggage you know yeah. which is super it's which has which has really informed how you are as a person right exactly now. that okay. makes a lot of sense it does it, it does, does. Okay. Okay. That yeah makes it does what about chicago mm. what i i wish my partners oh. would get would that get. she seems uh, not to just get um, well, currently in my in my current relationship, I think that's one of the things that I feel mm. really seen. Mm. Definitely, I think more than any other relationship that I've that I've ever been in, I I feel seen and understood. Like I've never in been in other relationships, right? Mm. It's actually crazy. Um, and maybe that's just honeymoon stage vibes, whatever, mm. right? Yeah. But like I do, I do. Um, I think in the past. I was in a relationship, a long distance relationship mm. for a few years yeah. and I'd met this girl's parents and everything and you know, like Kenyan traditions, African traditions, when you're meeting the parents initially, it's like, this is my friend, right? You mm. don't say it's my girlfriend or this is my boyfriend, yeah. you just say it's my friend and then you, there's like a thing of like, we yeah. know, you yeah, know? They will join mm. the doors. Yeah. So like three, four years later, right? Um, yeah, I'm like, okay, so like, do I get introduced as the boyfriend now? Mm. And she's like, mm, nah. I'm like, what? What do you mean? She's like, I'm supposed to tell them that you, that you're a musician, mm-hmm. that you make music. And that time I'm starting, right? I'm starting out. I'm grinding, really, just trying to make a name for myself. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like, you think I can tell my parents that you make music for a living? Mm-hmm. What? Are you Are you mad? Mm-hmm. You know. And so I, that was the thing that I, I felt like I wished that babes could understand at that time. It's mm-hmm. like. My, my level of ambition, the goal that, the goals that I had for myself, and I would try to communicate it in, you know, mm. the plans that I'm trying to do and the, yeah. thing, the way I'm active about it. But not everyone can believe in the dream, you yeah. know. So, it's okay. okay. Yeah. 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 What's the one thing you feel like <coughs> you communicate to Judy? <laughs> so, I, I feel like I've been knocked out. <laughs> This is something that we fought for for the longest. Mm. Like in Ameka, I can understand. And funny enough, we talked about it during mm. your podcast. Yeah, yeah. She never understood when I kept telling her, babe, I have zero expectations of you. Mm. And she was like, how can you say that? Mm. Mm. I'm your wife. How do you not have expectations of me? Mm. So mm. me, because you good what? But now I'm being like, babe, don't... I, I don't know if you, Yanni, humans, we are social beings, yeah. I understand, but we are very independent. So, usishi maisha yako na mimi. Like, if if I'm the source of your happiness, then you're in problems. Yeah. You have no control over me. Mm-hmm. Uh, what tells you I can't break your heart, Kesho? Mm-hmm. What about the passion that keeps you guys so connected that some people tend to find it hard to differentiate? Uh, but is that, is that, is that... Uh, does that bring about expectations though? You know, we can be really tight, but mm. I don't expect you to wake up at five to make me breakfast. But people wake up at five to make their spouses breakfast. Yes. Because they feel it's expected of them to do that. Then how do you get there? Because that's a huge struggle for... Yeah, how do you... Even do for you me. me, but not the expectation. Walai! Hey! go to Your primary source of happiness should be yourself. That's if you start having expectations of, on people... Bra, But, but let me reason. ask you this. Yeah. Right? You... Yeah. You've entered into a relationship with a person. Yes. Right? Yes. We've agreed. Yeah. You and I were doing this thing together. Yes. It may not be necessarily like daily tasks or those yes. kind of things, but yes. there's levels of expectations that are set, right? Uh-huh. Is that I need to be stimulated by you in one way or another, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. I need to, I need you to not like step out and go and have sex with other people or, okay. you know, like there's still expectations, right? So there's that. Right. There's mm-hmm. that. That's, that's totally acceptable. Mm-hmm. But there are things that people do in relationships, mm. thinking that that's the glue that's keeping them together. Mm. But in the real sense, 
it, nobody cares. Eh hizo ndio hizo ndio vitu mimi nasema. Like whatever na hizo zingine za infidelity and what yeah, not. Okay, that's of yeah, the relationship. Yeah. Uh, by the way if you step out on me, hiyo ina maanisha tu ro safi. You you done. Right. Wewe we umemalizana na mimi. Yeah. But the things that we do together as a couple. Yeah. Usiwahi fika hiyo point yenye una feel you need to you know to do things especially when you're not ah, comfortable yeah. at it to ah, keep me happy i get what you mean you, you get what yeah, you mean i get what you mean and, and, and our parents went through, through that a lot oh una sema like the traditions like u, like yeah, u, lazima upiki mse hizo siju o upiki mse pass before to go home chali yako akifika lazima oh see okay. this okay. thing hey, okay. those are the things i'm talking about yeah. mm. people do them thinking you and the glue in our yeah. really together okay that's really but that's, that's mature that's really from the truth, nice man eh mimi happiness yangu inatoka kwangu mimi peke yangu nikiamka nisikie nataka kwenda kupiga jacket pasi sana na usiku acha niende nipige jacket pasi no sumbuliwe eh just okay, no, and, and when and when those things are then there like you come you find chocolates been pick out that clothes are ironed it's a bonus it's a bonus it's a bonus okay. but i won't no. be i won't love you, you any less yeah. at because you haven't yeah. my food mm. so so, so that, that's a good one because like after we got married you know um yeah. as much as i'm trying to be uh, mature progressive okay. there sometimes <laughs> i'd be like you know i still expect you to cook for me and 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 you know sometimes you look at the opinions of people you yeah. feel like it's like if she's not cooking for you every day then uh, maybe that's a problem is that feeling some type you of way man enough yeah, yeah. There's, there's, uh, someone, uh, the, uh, there's an event we were at and uh, Adele Onyango was speaking yeah. and i've had the same in fact we have talked about this with my girlfriend and mm. we have like gone back and forth and we're like yo yeah. we have grown up you know me have been saying with dad and mom you know me me yeah. I want to yeah. but then uh, Adele has raised a really good question sometimes she, she was like sometimes we have to ask ourselves these rules of like the woman mm. doing stuff or yeah. having certain mm. gender roles mm. it's like for what age were they created for mm. kuna time men used to literally go to war mm. Mm. so yeah. naturally it was yeah. the women to remain behind yes. and cook for the men yeah. and take care of the kids okay, yes. baby boomers you, you get what i mean yeah. so it's some of those rules we have taken them from that time yeah. without still considering apply them this is today still, yeah, this where is maybe same, even the exactly. wife is working and your work is more, more more flexible exactly. yeah. so but you still can't point, cook because you still feel like that's how at that point is. Oh, okay. it also hit me on another level and i was just like yeah, yeah babe um remember that conversation we had yeah and so it was like and i think it's more of unlearning because i always ask myself mm. when i have such an expectation where yeah. is that stemming from yeah mm. is it something i've seen is it something that okay. i've been told yeah. you know what i mean that's so dope. even hearing that is that's really dope super, super. Yeah. Guys, respectfully i disagree oh, oh really okay yeah. Please, you feel <laughs> there's <laughs> there some do. things uh-huh. that I'll, i'll give you an example yeah. and i have i have a lot of female friends yeah um and family members who i'm very close with and i ask them this question mm-hmm. right especially the babes mm. ask them if your man was a stay at home man mm. right mm. you are bringing in the money mm. right mm. you're making so much money that yeah. this man doesn't need to work yeah. right, right. Yeah. but it's important for your household to at least have somebody there who is constantly yeah. contributing to the well-being of like the home and growing the home correct and you have that within you as a, mm. as, as a person mm. right mm. but when you were cutting her you had a kajobo you had a kaka you had this you had this you were taking on some dates mm. you got together started making a family now she's making so much more money than yeah. you yeah. right yeah. and it just doesn't make sense for you to also be going to job and getting the peanuts that you're getting yeah. right? in comparison yeah. yes. you're sweating right? too much for yeah. 50k and yeah. she's yeah. making a million, a million. Plus point five. Uh, exactly yeah. exactly in those situations mm. right it mm. is my opinion yeah that the woman will lose attraction for the man oh really yeah i i i, I certainly at least past a certain point yeah i think it will change I haven't seen very many successful relationships that are like that. I know yeah. they exist. Yeah. I know they exist for mm. sure. Yeah. But I think there's a mind shift that happens, yeah. right? When the dominance when from the, the man's side yeah. is not right. there. Right? And it doesn't have to be aggressive dominance that mm. like I own you, I control you, I tell mm. you what mm. to do. Mm. But suddenly now I'm giving the baby's giving me pocket money. Yeah. You know, and that that feels a little bit warped, right? Yeah. At least from the way that like i've had conversations with people and even for myself yeah i think it would feel warped i don't think that i can i can vibe my babe mm. as her husband if yeah. she's giving me chum mm. and it ah. feels so then the question would be yeah. if as the guy i'm coming and making dinner mm-hmm. and doing laundry mm-hmm. and cleaning the house mm-hmm. 
would that make the attraction any less from the from the that's road? what kago is saying it will make it less less Wait. attractive oh okay. and, 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 so, and and it reminded so me of I'm, something if i'm doing chores at home yeah the lady will be like uh so kago is, ka- ka- is standing is it might not interesting it might lose the the attraction so, might be affected i don't know if i'm getting it right mm. but from <laughs> kago's point mm. if you in a relationship mm-hmm. do whatever <laughs> you can, you can. You can mm. to make sure yeah, yeah. that this chick does not earn more than you is that what you're saying no yeah no i'm you see if you're if you're in a situation where your babe earns more than you and you're also earning yeah right yeah that's okay you're not dependent oh, that's, you're yeah not you're, dependent. Not dependent. you're not dependent oh, right? no okay. so, uh, that, i totally agree yeah. mutu so, we ufanyi kitu yeah. kazi nikupewa pesa yes, yeah. kuenda huko in fact yeah. watu and by the way you, you can be adding yeah. value to the home yeah. right yeah. you can be a good nurturer as a man yes. there are some men who are good nurturers yeah, yeah, like you said times have changed yeah but in the sense of like me i'm just sitting in the house when i come home na kutoa viatu pick up for you some food yes Nah, the dynamic would change Let of course it you. changes there's a show on netflix so <laughs> you you will forget so you say, say your point ah! <laughs> <laughs> i know you <laughs> so we put a pin on yeah yeah, yeah I do. So, this is a story barack i know you love stories <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know why those ones that are you know uko in the house doing nothing they're the most any the most useless people you'll ever meet in this life mm-hmm. <laughs> like kazi yao nikukuwa useless yeah usha ona anyone aki me me effort me i admire effort kabisa kabisa yeah. but wewe you, you're not bringing anything on the table mm. and you're not even mm. worried where kazi yako ni kuuliza mom eh yeah. wife babe leo umeleta mm. those people I've, i've interacted with them there's a they exist they, they exist, exist though i'm sorry yeah, let yeah, me tell yeah, you a story yeah, man yeah. oh guy mbaka nishaanza kujana let me tell you a story guys tell us a story so in 2012 mm. my baby was 2 years old mm-hmm. young girl mm. uh, judy was working at the time so i was babysitting uh, together with phil that time we were not uh, working i think it was a weekend or something So Phil comes to the house to na chill na eh hapo we are playing with baby nini nini a friend of ours calls us yeah eh niaje nasikia judi yako job nyinyi ndio mmeka kwa haona mtoto eh ah si mtoke kamini twende eh, some some place in Mombasa road i think uh, where they have the quad the bikes quad bikes mm. right uko at river lukenya eh, lukenya L- 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. yes twende lukenya let's go have a good time nini nini carry the baby Mm. So tuka bana sini wanaume atufikiriagi sana kama Let's warembo we yeah. yeah. twende yeah. twende kumbe bana you are supposed to pack a little snack for the baby this guys yeah. didn't know yeah. from pangani to lukenya motocross is what 25 minutes wow. to mafika so see we left yeah guy guy that was before the expressway before the <laughs> Mombasa road was a mess a mess we were stuck in traffic for almost two hours maze hakuna hata place tunaweza toka twende tununue ka kitu the shops we are seeing bana the sas unaangalia hivi unaona hiyo manazi siezi patia huyo mtoto maze so we called and told them maze tuko na mtoto hii hapa and she's very hungry mnaweza get ya kitu tutakam ndio tukifika tu hivi at least she something to eat yeah and they did that sasa ah watu walikuwa huko mm. ilikuwa ni the, the friend of ours who called mm. uh, a chick yeah her two cousins mm. and their useless boyfriends ni watu bure mm. <laughs> bure kuruka they don't work mm. au kazi yao ni kucheza ps kwa keja mm-hmm. wanangojea jioni ma wife of all combat eh mm. bebo meleta yeah. so we get to lukenya two hours later mm. like mtoi amesikia ubao mpaka amenyamaza ukiona okay, mtoi wa two years <laughs> and you know the terrible twos are all over the yeah. place yeah. ako hivi kwa seat belt amepotelea kwa kiti mm. a- 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 so we fika lukenya tunashika mtoi mbio mbio tunaenda kwa restaurant mm. yani we sit down like this mm. waiter kwanza ametuona amekuja mbio mm. jua najua mtoi this kid is starving mm-hmm. he comes with like six sausages and puts them on the table mm. those bastards wana kama wanachukua wanagawana yeah 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 oh. eh wow, wow, wow. so the chicks are like wait hii ni kwa mtoi ah mtoi anaweza ngoja eh kwa nini si uchome sausages wa 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 chief kagwe we almost fought you have to we What? almost <laughs> fought by then ili kwa itambe ai man then after all that mm. Johnny na fika maze it's time to settle the bill juu sasa tumekuwa na bill zetu the guy is on chika hivi hawatoi kitu mbona hawatoi kitu unajua wanaga job wanaka mta 
Oh wow, that's that's not. Karibu tu kupiga sasa ma coffee vizuri. Yeah. Eh, like those ones who don't do anything are the most useless sometimes. Unashindwa hiyo nguvu unatoa wapi? Yeah, ah, yeah. Especially, so, the, understand, especially yeah? in the creative space, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, especially musicians, if you're an actor, if you're a celebrity, because sometimes that fame makes you attracted to very rich women. Yes. So you know, a lot of men pia ni kuwekwa. Yeah. And it becomes a popular trend ah, in but our show space. some yeah. effort, but so I get I totally get what you're saying. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, yeah. it reminded me of a of yeah. a show on Netflix. So the, this guy on Netflix, what he does is yeah. that he teaches couples. Yeah how to manage their finances better mm-hmm. so the first uh, w- one of the couples you've watched show. that show yeah I know it. I so know one it. of the shows yeah. there was this couple where the lady and the guy used to work mm. and then the guy because he was spending too much time at work mm. he had to quit his job mm. oh, come and that. work full mm. and, and take care of the babies full time yes. yeah. then the wife goes to work yeah. Mm. Yeah. so the man has quit his job yeah. and he's now uh, taking care of the baby at home dad and he he's, he was taking good care of those babies yeah. by the way and you could see the frustration in that uh, family. It's yeah. like, I'm sorry to say this, but I feel like women are not engineered to be the sole providers, providers. and then the guys are res- recipients. Yeah, right. Because at a your show, they're the only couple that at some point they even withdrew. They said, we can't do away. Yeah. We can't continue yeah, with this show. Because yeah. yeah. the man felt emasculated. Yeah. And, and, and the lady also, you can tell she was so she was so angry or frustrated yeah. at some point like yeah hey, i'm the one who does everything you know even as a guy even when you provide for everything in the house yeah. mm-hmm. you don't keep mentioning it you feel like it's yeah, natural yeah. it's natural I, yeah. feel, I feel like for her she kept repeating yeah. it over and yeah. over and over mm-hmm. and you could see the problem so i agree with uh, agree with kagwe yeah. as well I agree yeah, with kagwe. 